but amazing artist still good friends and uh super cool ice cream truck signed poster megan frills johnson jeff daniel phillips right there wow guys i'm showing off i'm showing off at this point but yeah back to this scene right here perfect timing oh yes What's up guys, it is time. I'm just doing this on the fly. Just turn on the camera, start talking. It's time for day three of the Road to Halloween 2018 vlog. There is Levi. Everybody loves Levi. Say hello, buddy. Say hello. Isn't he gorgeous? So, I was, you know, just racking my brain all day like, what do I want to do for this Halloween three one? And you know what? I'm just gonna make it a full on Drum Dumb's Watches. Because people have been asking for another Drum Dumb's Watches, so why not? And I'll go even further. It's going to be a hybrid. It's going to be Drum Dumb's Watches watching the Blu-ray and also the VHS. So I'm going to be going back and forth between the Blu-ray and VHS. And this is madness, I know. I know you're thinking that, Lee, this is complete madness. No mere mortal would ever attempt this. But you know what? This is no mere mortal, people. This is fucking Drum Dumb's, okay? So, there you go. There is Jolene. Jolene is ready to party. And Jolene wants to do Halloween 3. And by the way, Screen Factor just announced that Cobra is coming to Blu-ray. They're going to do a brand new transfer, special features, all that great stuff. But also, we got to get some lights behind Jolene. Because Jolene doesn't like playing movies without, you know, setting the mood. So... I got my little Halloween lights here, and it's October. It's just more of a reason for me to get Jolene primed and ready. There we go. Look at that. Now Jolene's ready. And I have never played this VHS, so it might not even work. And there, there it is. And that looks like that's, um, because the tape doesn't look like it fills up the whole thing. So it might be in SP. I think it's SPLP. All right, so I want you guys to hear this sound, okay? Did you hear that? Love that sound. 1983 Color Track 2000. Let's not waste time. Let's get this in here. There we go. And then I got to go throw in the Blu ray out there. Here we are, right here. Got the uh, my white lights in my face, but yeah, there it is. See the old warning sign? Let's uh, let's shut off the light. Here we go. Oh, look at that! Look at that, huh? Isn't that gorgeous? Got the light off. Oh wow! I am loving the way this looks right now. This is insane. MCA Universal. I wish I could like take a picture of this right now. I think I'll do that with my phone. Look at that, huh? Isn't that gorgeous? Universal symbol. Let's get the uh, volume up here. Oh my God. Listen to that. Oh, I, I almost want to do the whole thing in here. Listen to that score. This is one of the most underrated freaking scores ever. How's that for badass? Okay, so we're walking out of the red, going to grab the Blu-ray. And here we go. Let's grab Halloween 3 on Blu-ray. That way I can do talking in both. It's probably gonna be a long one, guys. So bear with me. Taking out Halloween 2, which is already dropped. I just dropped that. Throwing in Halloween 3. Okay, let's uh, head into the living room. We got the Blu-ray going right now. The Blu-ray is pretty damn sweet looking. I will give it that. I have the, um, the Universal release too, actually. And um, 
some prefer the the universal release because it has uh, more film grain. But I mean, either release, you're 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 doing just fine. But there's Dan Chalice and uh, Nancy Keys. I think her name's last name's Loomis. Annie from the first Halloween, but uh, she is kind of a shrew in this. Not saying she deserved the divorce. I don't know. She might have divorced him. I don't know. But yeah, there's the masks. But you know, they really don't go into too much about what their relationship is outside of the divorce. All we know is that he's kind of a womanizer. And you know, there's a couple of instances of that too in this movie. You'll you'll see Dan. You know. Oh, oh, here we go. This is a cool scene. This is the first like moment that grabs the viewer like you know this is what this guy's going through he's clinging to this mask for dear life and then of course that that upcoming kill that's just insane so we're pretty yeah we're about about at the same location but this is um this is a good spot to sit actually and it's it's a little bit too bright on the TV, so I might turn red again. Now this TV's got a lot of nice bass to it. I love that about it. It's a RCA Color Track 2000 that I, I got from my last job, and um, I don't know. There's just something about watching a movie in VHS. You know, I've gotten crap from people saying, "Why would you watch VHS when you can watch, you know, Blu-ray, 4K?" And I, I like Blu-ray and 4K. I love HD, but sometimes I want this. You know, and, and I will say though, the TV is important. Like, it's gotta be old, it's gotta have the brown, like cabinet looking sides. It's gotta have all that great stuff, you know? I don't like the TVs from the 90s. They're not as interesting looking. This looks like vintage though. But yeah, Dan Chalice, he's getting some, uh, some rest. Yeah, he's got some tracking issues, but that's okay. We're gonna roll through it. Yeah, don't the lights look really uh, nice behind it though? Just kind of sets the mood. Oh yeah, we got some tracking issues, people. But uh, I love this kill coming up. It's pretty damn brutal. And I know you guys are saying, oh, we got those tracking issues, so that's why I don't do VHS. And that's true. It's a, if you got tracking issues, then that's going to be a problem like that right there. But uh, if you can get a good copy of the movie, then it's it's pretty nice. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Love it. That is a really gnarly kill, you know? Okay, I just turned on the old computer. Um, we're going to see if we got any comments, but um, also there's Twitter, my Twitter page. I, I shared my uh, day two, Halloween 2, the TV cut. Shared that one. And uh, let's see, let's see what kind of comments we got on that video. And we're still with uh, Halloween 3 right there. And there's Dan Chalice doing his thing. And, you know, a big debate is if she was a robot from this point on. Is it possible? I mean, could Colonel Cochran create a robot that could give off that much emotion? It's never really said. Um, I don't, you know, it's more of like a fan theory because I don't think she becomes a robot until they actually get to Santa Mar uh, Mira. So anyway, we got some, uh, we got some comments here. The G-Rod show says, how I love the L-Rod tribute. Uh, Holly Klein says, have you watched, um, Harold, you want mayonnaise or mustard? On your sandwich, everybody loves the L-Rods. Uh, Stephen uh, Moles says, I love the TV versions of Halloween and Halloween 2 and the producer's cut of Halloween 6. And uh, Hunter Thumbalert says, did you end up getting the Prop Shop H2 mask? No, I did not. But yeah, some uh, some nice comments there. I like how they, they the timelines, this one doesn't take place right on you know, Halloween day. It, it's actually spanned over like 10 days, I think. All right, guys, we got Dan and Ellie. They're shopping in the hardware store. And uh, you know what? Let's do it. Go ahead and uh, read some Killer Flicks comments here. Okay, Tim Swope says, uh, always enjoy the Drum Dums Watches series. 
Yeah, it's always fun to do these. Uh, Sean Mahoney says, Happy Halloween monthly. Happy Halloween. Uh, Lee Modlin says, Can't wait for the new Halloween. Me too, Lee. Next week. Um, I was just thinking that today too, actually. It's like, it, a week from Thursday, I'll be seeing the, the new movie. It's crazy. Troy Lee says, What's up, bro? Uh-oh, I just got some notifications from CP and Lindsay. Um, Alex R. Longia, he just posted this nice little GIF. Is it GIF or GIF? I get them mixed up. And uh, Patrick J. Smith says, stop it, stop it, stop it. Everybody loves that line. Uh, Don, Donnie Morell says, really looking forward to this one. Me too, man. Me too. Look at that. Apple, or Aaron Appleton says, what's up, Lee? Shout out this guy. Shout this guy out. I can't read tonight, guys. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, Kevin Fishgale says, shout out, Lee. You are the man, Drum Dums. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate that. Bobby Hall says, the Festival of Samhain. The last great one took place 3,000 years ago when the hills ran red. I love the way he says that line. Bobby's got his own Halloween 6 cut too, by the way. Um, and he, he spent a lot of uh, time on that thing. Uh, pretty damn cool. I plan on giving his cut a watch uh, sometime soon. Um, uh, Lindsay says she doesn't need the charity shout out. Wait, yes I do. Hi. There you go, Lindsay. Uh, Joe B has this nice little gif here. There you go. Oh, I love the score for this movie, though. It's so good. Oh, and I got one from CP here. It says, please say my name in your video. I need validation from you, oh Lord. Also, when's the giveaway? Giveaway is going to be at 9. But now we're getting into the area where they get into Santa Mira, and uh, it's very strange. Everybody's looking at them like they're crazy, or they're unwanted. Let's just say that. But I always like movies where, where the characters, they go to... Um, you know, a town other than their own, and there's something off, almost like Stepfordian, like Stepford Wives. But yeah, I mean, in Stepford Wives, the robots, so uh, Colonel Cochran has his own robots right there. That's a cool shot too, by the way. Let's see, if I touch this, yeah. There you go. I just touched the thing, yeah. I love this vlog camera, guys. It's really nice. Maybe I'll set my, uh, I have it on, um, auto setting right now. I need to manually set it. Let me try that. Maybe I get another room. Oh, here we go. The scene. <laughs> I love this. Such a sly fox. Where would you like to sleep, Mr. Chalice? <laughs> How could you not love this guy? Freaking Tom Atkins. By the way, Cody Leach is actually watching this right now as I am. And if you haven't checked out his Halloween reviews, which I'm sure you have, he is soaring. So, uh, congratulations, Cody, man. And he's dropping a review every single day. So it's kind of cool because we're both dropping Halloween related videos every day up until the new movie. And uh, yeah, their curfew's coming, uh, they're shutting uh, everything down. Got the cat, taking the cat out. There's Levi. And there's Jamie Lee Curtis's voice. So the, uh, the supply lady there, that was actually Tommy Lee Wallace's wife at the time. I don't, I don't know if they're still married. I don't think they are, but happy birthday, Tommy Lee Wallace, by the way, he just turned 69 yesterday, which is freaking awesome. He directed this film, by the way. Uh, he was, uh, he went to college with Carpenter. He worked on the first movie. He was offered the second movie to direct and he turned it down. He just wasn't interested. But uh, this one, he jumped all over because he was, he didn't want to do another Myers story. So let's go into the, uh, the evil lair and see how the, uh, the VHS is doing. I know it had some tracking issues, so let's see if they're still going on. Oh, there, yep, no tracking issues there. As a matter of fact, there's uh, Ellie Grimbich. She's, she's really cold right now. She's cold, she's putting a blanket on. Good for her. And then, uh, yeah, here's uh, the supply lady. I, I forget her name. Sorry, guys. But, uh, yeah, this is not going to be good for her, but it's great for us. Great for us. Yeah, and, and uh, Chalice, man, he's just such a hoe dog. He's just flirting with this, uh, this, I think she's a nurse or a doctor. I think she's a doctor. Or nurse. I think she's a nurse. Doesn't matter. But all she wants is a date with Chalice. That's all she wants. 
Yeah, I don't know what Dan Chalice is doing, but man, I should have uh, read up. And uh, yeah, it's just speak of the devil. Here we go. Got the uh, the soft core porn music playing. You know, Ellie is setting the mood. Boy, did I have a crush on Stacy Nelkin. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Major crush. Still do. She's still a beautiful woman too, by the way. But yeah, I know she had like a, a an almost no nudity clause. She let them show just a little bit, but not much. You know, they were really strategic about how they handled it. Are you do you feel uncomfortable right now? Because I do. But I can't turn away. Okay, I guess I better turn away then. Ooh, that poster looks pretty damn good in this red light, doesn't it? Check that out. That is the Hell Knight poster lit up in red. And then there's the Halloween poster lit up in red. And might as well show you Nightmare on Elm Street. Yep, and there's the uh, Evil Lair. There's my wife's paintings. Check out that. That's the uh, Bagul painting from Sinister. There's Jason. And then I can show you behind here. Yep, there is Myers. Man, Myers looks sexy as hell lit up in orange like that, doesn't he? Jesus. Kind of getting turned on. And there's the Myers mask lit up. Super nice. This freaking camera is so awesome, guys. I'm serious. If, if, if you're getting into YouTube and you want to do some vlogging, accept no substitutes. Get the, uh, the Canon G7X Mark II. That's what this is. I'll even put an Amazon affiliate link uh, below in the comments if you want to get it. Helps out the channel too. Deep red and deep red or deep orange. So cool. You know, this is something I never showed you guys. That's a Darth Vader with the uh, helmet off. Yep, showing you a little bit more here. But yeah, everything looks cooler in orange. Uh, Emilio Gasca, he painted, he uh, drew this crow painting for me like three years ago drawing i keep saying painting drunk like three years ago he made this for me and he also made this for me that's me as myers but amazing artist still good friends and uh super cool ice cream truck signed poster megan frills johnson jeff daniel phillips right there wow guys i'm showing off i'm showing off at this point but yeah back to this scene right here perfect timing oh yes oh that's great Freaking love it. I can think, I think I like shooting in here better. Yeah, here you go. Is that thumbnail material right there? It could be. That might be thumbnail material. Now, here's one thing I love about um, Colonel Cochran. You know, throughout, he seems like just a nice businessman. And it never changes. Even when all this chaos is going on, you know, he's still maintains his composure you know he's he never like yells throughout the whole movie really but uh there's just like this eerie creepiness behind the guy which makes for a perfect villain you know i think he's a really underrated villain if you ask me you know he never breaks character throughout the whole thing and i always like this thing because it shows how how they make the masks kind of cool you know because i always wondered how they make masks uh, but yeah, there you go. It's just a mold. But yeah, this is where um, Dan and uh, Ellie are, in, you know, they're snooping. They're kind of investigating the, uh, the scene to find out what's going on. You know, she's trying to find out what happened to her father. And one scene we're definitely going to be looking at is the, uh, the scene with the uh, Cupford family. That's, gonna be, that, that's definitely going to be a, um, a, a bookmarked moment in this D-Watch. It's a, it's a it's a it's a hybrid. It's a road to Halloween 2018 daily vlog slash D watch. Okay, um, we are getting into the third act now. Dan Chalice is about to get caught, and I'm gonna do some more Facebook, some uh, Killer Flicks shout outs because I love my uh, Killer Flicks peeps. So let me see if I can set this up so you guys can see it, the TV in the background while I'm reading these. There we go. How about that? Let me move this forward a little bit. 
Oh, I like this music in the background. Man, the, the work that Alan Howarth and Carpenter did on this score is so good. Look, listen to that. It's just so good. Oh, God. Where's the girl? Yep, yeah, and this is where Mr. Chalice catches him, but he still maintains his composure. Mr. Chalice, this is where Colonel Cochran catches him, but he still like maintains his composure. And there's uh, Dick Warlock from Halloween 2. So I know I'll see that in the comments. Dick Warlock was in this movie. I know I'll see, I'll see that. What did I just do? I just turned it off. Can you believe that? I just turned my freaking TV off. Look at all those comments. Good stuff, guys. Okay, Cody Archer says, Hey Lee, hope your night is going well and the best month of the year has been spooktacular. Yes, it has, brother. Bobby Hall, Bobby Hall has a gif there. Say my name, say my name. Another gif, say my name. Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. That is from Lee Maudlin. Man, I love Breaking Bad. What a freaking show. Another gif. And that is from Alex R. Longoria. And that is Loki. Uh, so excited for this new one. Uh, for the new one, Alex Larson. Everybody's excited for the new Halloween movie. Uh, Ashley Grady, one of my mods and a good friend. Yep, she's got a little uh, gopher there. I think it's a gopher. He's saying hey. It's really cute. And there's some more of them right there. Uh, we got uh, Eric Murphy says wishing, uh, waiting on my steelbook, looking forward to seeing the video. Dominic Howard, Mel uh, Melissa Kurtz, Brandon Tabato, there they are. But uh, yeah, Dominic Howard says, hey Lee, what would you do with a Halloween 3 sequel? Oh, that's a that's a conversation right there. Let me hit this in the background. Um, Melissa Kurtz says, ha ha, boom. Brandon Tabato, who actually is doing a fan film that is a sequel to Halloween 3, says, I almost had a stroke editing all that flashy, uh, glitchy ass Silver Shamrock commercial nonsense for the new Return of the Witch sequel. See, there you go. Uh, Corey Grayley says, love this movie, one of my favorites in the franchise. And I would love a shout out. There's your shout out, Corey. Uh, Jefferson Better or Jeffrey Betterton says very underrated. Tom Atkins is the man. Pat Little says would be nice to get my first shout out. That's awesome, Pat Little. There is your shout out, brother. Yeah, but thank you all for those uh, awesome comments. Great stuff. And this just makes it so I don't have to actually cut B-roll footage and put it on the screen. I could just swipe it right here. Here we go, guys. Here's the scene. Love this freaking scene. I mean. The guy is a freaking insane son of a bitch. He's killing kids. Isn't that great? Dan Chalice realizes that he has just got himself in a world of shit. This, this scene is just so... It's like insanity. And then the parents are freaking out because they just watched their kid die. He's got bugs coming out of his head. Insanity. And then you got the snake that comes out. Yeah, there you go. Isn't that great? I'd be freaking out too. Yeah, th I mean, this is just, I think this is like the last big scene I'll talk about. And then of course the very end. Cause I don't want to overstay my welcome here, but uh, yeah, this, I wanted to do a full on drum drums watches for Halloween three, because you know what? It deserves it. And then for Halloween four, I've already recorded footage for that and five actually, because Halloween four tomorrow is going to be Halloween Horror Nights. And then five, I'm going to a haunted restaurant. So yeah, great stuff. And my battery's starting to run out, so we're gonna take it in the living room. We're gonna go over that last scene, and then we're gonna we're gonna hang up this drum dum's watches. You thought no further than the strange custom of having your children wear masks and go out begging for candy. It was the start of the year in our old Celtic lands, and we'd be waiting. In our houses of wattles and clay, the barriers would be down, you see, between the real and the unreal. And the dead might be looking in to sit by our fires of turf. 
Halloween. The festival of Samhain. The last great one took place 3,000 years ago when the hills ran red with the blood of animals and children. The sacrifices to the part of our world. Our craft. Witchcraft. Okay, guys, a couple more shout-outs, and then uh, we gotta hang this thing up because my battery's running running low, but uh, Maurice Boney says, don't wear that mask during the big giveaway, Lee. Don't want to do that. Uh, William Lowry says, 22 more days till Halloween. Uh, Echo Lee says, a shout-out would be awesome, Lee. My personal third favorite of the franchise, and fittingly, I've wound up with three copies. I think I have three copies, too, actually. Yeah, I got BHS, two on Blu-ray. So, yeah. That was John Carpenter's voice, actually. Um, I had to switch to my DSLR uh, because my battery was dead, but uh, I wanted to close it off on an awesome scene, which is this one. Uh, one of my favorite horror endings, actually, because it's a John Carpenter ending. Colonel Cochran has won. And, uh, you know, you kind of get the, the feeling that it's not going to end well anyway, you know. Watching this movie, it doesn't seem like the type of movie where you're going to have this nice, happy ending. Isn't that great? In the uh, chills, freaking chills, and then you got that score, so good. But uh, yeah, guys, that was um, that was my road to Halloween 2018 daily vlog number three for Halloween three, which pretty much turned into a Drum Dums watches. And the reason it's the Drum Dums Watch is because I included um, um, comments from Killer Flicks. So it's an interactive thing. And I, I, uh, and I go through a lot more of the movie, too. So. But yeah, guys, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, at Horror, Halloween Horror Nights for Halloween 4 of the Daily Blog. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day. And on Fridays, we do Free For All Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd, and now start us. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe, subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. It's been a long day. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and Drum Dum out.